Well, here I am at site 33 before I set up the tent. And this is how the bike looks when it's all loaded up for motor camping. Got the two panniers on. I've got my 40 liter Oxford dry bag there and another dry bag here. Of course, I've got my top box that's always there. Both panniers are on. And I've got my tank, tank bag that's always there. This bag here holds all of the furniture, like my cot and hammock, seat and all that. We'll go through that in a little while. This here holds everything else like uh, kitchen stuff and and all that other stuff and the panniers holds uh, my clothes and all that stuff that goes inside of the uh, of the tent. Top box, the camping stuff that's in the top box is typically just food and camera equipment. That's it. Each pannier has a pannier bag which I got off AliExpress actually it's holding up pretty good. Um, this left one usually holds my clothes and toiletries and that kind of stuff. And the right side holds some other stuff. I'll show you all of this later. Tank bag. What I've got in here is masks and lens cover for the Insta360. My water bottle. I'll leave that in here for now. And here's a tip. Bring one of these multi-tool things in your tank bag. You never know where you're going to stop at the side of the road. Maybe and have a snack or stop maybe at a gas station or something like that. You don't want to open up your, your you know, mess kit. Got one of these things here. Handy. Then, of course, I've got all my charging cables and stuff like that. Inside the top box, I've got my espresso, Wakeko espresso uh, ma maker, a little selfie stick. This stuff here lives in the top box anyway. It's got my rain gear and my first aid kit and tire pr uh, repair kit, and that kind of stuff. This also lives in here. So none of this is for camping. Okay, this is my photo equipment here. This, these two. This is my, that's another tripod. This is my lunch, my food. And I got batteries and charger and all that kind of stuff. Here. One thing to bring is this. This is the garbage. So this is just a grocery bag. But in here you can see I've got some batteries and stuff like that. So there we have it. Aside from the top box and the tank bag, this is everything that is brought for camping. The dry bag, the other dry bag, and the two ba pannier bags. I'm going to show you what's inside that when I set up the tent. First, we're going to put up the tent, and I think that that spot between those two trees there is the most level and the best. Plus, it's got a little bit of shade right now, so I'm going to try and pitch my tent there. Made some space on the table here. I'm going to lay out everything that's going to come out of this green bag on the table and show you what I got there. Here is my Cot 1, Helinox Cot 1. Nature Hike Monger two-person tent. And that's the add-on vestibule. So that really increases the floor space of this tent. I'm not going to set that up today though. It's just, just an overnighter, so I don't think I'll set that up. But it's handy to have that vestibule if you're going to be like in rainy conditions and you, you want to do some cooking or something, like you've got extra space to go do some cooking and relaxing in, in, in the extra vestibule space. Uh, check out my other video uh, that uh, explains and shows uh, the vestibule all set up. This here is the mat that comes with the nature hike monger. So that's all tent there. Then we've got here, I've got this Teton Comfort Light cushion, which is excellent, excellent, because you're sitting on the ground uh, when you're not on the cot. So that's something nice and cushiony to, to sit on or to, to kneel down to change your pants or whatever. This is my little hammock, and there's the hammock straps. 
This here is the second most important thing in my kit, and that's my chair. I'm gonna unpack that one first. Uh, so between the chair and the cot, two most important things. Well, aside from the tent. And this is my sleeping pad that goes on top of the cot. I take that back. This here is a mat. Yes, it is the mat, a mat, but it's the mat for the vestibule. I had to buy this separately. Uh, the vestibule, Nature Hike vestibule, does not come with a mat, so I bought this. So this is actually the mat for the vestibule. This is the mat, mat for the tent, and it lives with the tent, so that's why I missed it. So the rest of the stuff is going to go into the bag for safekeeping until tomorrow. This goes inside the tent. Everything else, and the cot, of course, everything else... Uh, goes in the bag this is the left bag which usually has my no this is the right bag which you usually have my CPAP and I've got my flip-flops these flip-flops here they live in these panniers so that they're always ready to go camping and I got sneakers and that's it that goes in here I've got more space uh, in there for other stuff but that's it that I have living in there and I've got a couple of magazines right here the other bag has got my clothes and this is a really neat thing here this is a little bag that's got a zipper on two sides both sides it's got a zipper here and a zipper here and what i do is i've got my fresh clothes on this side right fresh clothes here and uh, when i'm staying longer and i get dirty clothes i just put them in the other side here kind of hard to do this with one hand but they're separated by this plastic uh, separator so dirty clothes goes here and the clean clothes goes on the other side now what's inside here I like to keep these lights for some reason I like my lights and these are the lights the main lights that I have um, while I'm camping <laughs> this is the inside tent light and this is the headlight. I've got another light in the bag, in the in the uh, big bag outside. But this here is toiletries, more toiletries. So two bags, toiletries. This is my microfiber towel, and this is a puffy uh, jacket that I won't be needing on this trip, I don't think. But this is a downfill jacket. It it. Uh, as you can see, it fits neatly into a pocket that goes in, uh, into a pouch that goes into the left pocket. Uh, it's kind of a nice uh, rig, but it's, it folds up pretty compact. There's a whole jacket there. Decided to take my shirt off, get a little cooler in here. Uh, as you can see, that corner is all occupied right now. And on this side, I've got my other stuff here. So now I've got half the tent available to put up this cut one. I'm not gonna be able to show you how I do that. Put it this way, I assemble it upside down and then I try and flip it over and there's some stretching of the uh, poking into the mesh, but uh, as long as I'm careful not to punch through the mesh as I flip it over. So I'll show you when it's done. So the bed is put together and so is the sleeping pad and CPAP is all rigged up. So I just got to go outside now and get sleeping bag and pillow from the from the gray bag and toss it in here. Right now we're going to open the. Actually, it's a 50 liter bag. It's a great bag. We've got a neat little case here. This is for all my straps and my wife make this up for me. <clears throat> all the straps go in here. Thanks to COVID, I've got one of these. Uh, hand sanitizers on the outside never used it <laughs> but it's there so let's open it up and see what's inside essentially at one end i've got my sleeping bag and my pillow this is my pot set fresh water containers stove i'm gonna take it all out and lay it out on the table for you to see so stuff that came out of that bag First of all, that's my sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Nature Hike CWZ400 Goose Down Large. 
That's my pillow. Excellent pillow. Pillow luxury. I have a video on that, I think. I've got these stakes here. I don't know why I keep bringing it. Um, <laughs> I've got lightweight stakes now. I've got the stakes and the stake hammer. Four of them. And when I'm at the electric site, I usually bring my uh, bring my extension cord, but I didn't bring it this time because my CPAP can run off of batteries, so I got a battery. This here, I hope I don't need it this time. This is a head net. Insect, ins, insect shield repellent apparel. So it's a, head, a net that you put over your head when the bugs are really bad. This here is a clothesline. That's my knife and fork set, titanium. Inside my Nalgene for water. Cook set, like I said. I'll open that up and show you what's inside because there's different stuff inside there. There's my plates. I only got two plates and some silicone pads is my bowl. And this is a funnel. Don't know when you'll need a funnel. Radio. AM, FM, weather band. And I added Bluetooth to it as well so I can I can listen to it on my uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth headset. This here is a stove windshield for my stove. That's a neat little cutting board and they live inside this Reflectix case that I made for it. That Reflectix case. That's my food bag. That food bag once had two weeks of dehydrated food in it complete. Morning, noon, well, breakfast and dinner with no lunches. Lunches to be bought on the road, but it held everything. And I'll go through that in a little while knife for processing wood and it's got a sharpening uh, stone in there and, a, and a, also a, a lightning steel and this here is my other knife this here is that neat grill that I think I showed in another video and there's my hatchet Fisker's hatchet came with a set so I appropriated the hatchet and put it into my into my camping kit MSR Universal Stove. Right now I've got it with white fuel, but it can use gas as well, propane. So it's a flexible stove. It can use gasoline as well. So I've got that. And I've got another stove in here as well. This here's some more shields and uh, aluminum foil. That's my water container. A couple of gallons, I think. That there's my percolator and insect propellant that's about it everything that came out of that uh, 50 liter dry bag this stuff is the stuff that was my electronics that uh, was in my top box i've got my cardo pack talk bowl charging and my ins 361r charging up as well uh, after this is charging uh, finished charging i'll probably put the gopro on although i've got three batteries batteries here I'm not going to use any of that really I'm sure so that's it let's open this up and see this here is a reflectix case because what happens is when you dehydrate rehydrate food and you put it in here to heat up you know with your boiling water you want the heat to stay in so this was a percolator but I took the, the central part of the percolator out because I don't drink perc percolated coffee anymore. I drink either instant or my espressos. So I use this as my second pot. So I've got one pot and that pot and a fry pan. And this lives inside there. This kit might seem to be a lot of stuff, but it has been pared down and there's hardly anything that I'd want to get rid of this. I may downsize that. I think that's a little too big. But other than that, everything else here is got to, you know, it's got to go. It's got to come with me. And uh, I've been using this kit for years. And I use it with the RS and I use it with the tracer now. This here is a light, bright as hell. You just pull up on it and it's... So that's my outside light for the campsite. But yeah, like I said, this this set has been optimized for me 
And this is pretty much what I like to carry. That's my coffee maker here. Nanopresso. So it's right now in double espresso uh, mode. And I've got two, uh, two pods in there ready to go. One for decaf, maybe after supper, or maybe I'll have it, have it in a little while as soon as the sun goes down. And uh, one for tomorrow morning, full calf. That is the only thing that can be expunged from my kit. This thing. Well, let's look inside this food bag, see what we've got. Okay. Two Ziploc bags inside here. This here is powdered peanut butter. You can make it uh, two to one ratio, as you can see there. Powdered peanut butter. We've got bannock mix. Hopefully you can go Google what bannock is. And then I've got a uh, multi-spiced bottle here. All kinds of spices in there. Sugar, teas, instant coffee, Starbucks, French roast, decaf. Hmm. Oh, no, it's not decaf. I don't know. Anyway, it's French roast. Then I've got more breakfast stuff here. Instant cereal. So I got breakfast covered right here if I need to, and bannock, right? And peanut butter. So the peanut butter can go on the bannock and you can eat cereal if you want, have a cup of coffee. These are extra Ziploc bags. Like I said, this is my standard food bag. And if I'm going for a longer trip, then I could actually add uh, suppers in here. I gotta get back to dehydrating my meals. This is something else that's also in that bag. This is my first aid kit. <laughs> it's in my food bag. But anyway, um, as you can see, I've got some Vaseline with some cotton swab, uh, cotton balls for starting fires. Wet ones, I got a lighter here. I got a first aid kit. So that all lives in that bag. Pretty use useful, interesting stuff. This kit comes with a cover, frying pan, it's kind of shallow. <laughs> Comes with uh, some tools. And I've got some other stuff in here. It also comes with four nested cups. But, and they're triangle shaped. But I took those out. Instead of what I've got is these two. Which make a lot more sense for me. That there is amazing. This is a Yeti tumbler and uh, keeps your tea hot forever. This is along the same lines, but this is for my uh, double espressos, my long espressos that I like to drink. So, comes with a nice spoon. And, um, oh, I've got some more sugar here. Comes with a spatula. And it comes with some tongs. I added this. This here um, is something that you use to blow your fire. Comes with a little cutting board, the kit, and a handle for the saucepan. And it comes with some soap and a little bit of seasoning here. I added this as well as the can opener. This is a little bit more soap. It's not camp suds. This is, I think that's Dove. <laughs> real soap and I keep this this little handy little lighter with my stove there's a pot fair size pot but the frying pan is kind of small so I was thinking of maybe getting a little bit larger frying pan in the smaller pot but they won't nest so easily I like the fact that they not they all nest together so the bike is all packed up now and I'm ready to go. Uh, everything obviously fit back into its place. So you've uh, seen what I bring in my motor camping trips. Everything fits into these two bags and my panniers and the top box. And it's pretty much optimized. <laughs>